Good morning, Eric Bollard. Hey, good morning. Spectacular on uh, uh, AM Joy as usual. Oh, thank you. Thank you. We got to talk about Sean and, and Roy Moore and their love fest. <sighs> Good God, it, I, it really is. Uh, it, it really is unbelievable. I, I mean, the the defense of Roy Moore, I, I, the, the smearing of like, you know, well, formerly teenage girls is just. I, I, you, you, you think there is a low, and then there's another yeah. low, right? Right. You think that, right. You, you think someone is creating this as a test case, right? As we're all in this bubble, and these <laughs> and these social scientists have created this. Let's see if they'll go for pedophilia. Yeah. Right. Let's see if they will knee jerk automatically unthinking rush to defend uh someone who was trolling teenage girls at a mall well and i mean let's see if they'll do it five days after devoting a bajillion hours to harvey weinstein yep. and, and and accusing liberal hollywood of being a bastion of harassers and why didn't anyone protect these women yep meanwhile every hollywood entity has has ever ties with harvey weinstein within an hour right uh and, and you flip 180 let's keep let's let's smear these women let's say they're lying let's say they're out for months well, maybe uh, eric we shouldn't be surprised somebody that you know no. a, a party that would collude with a foreign government right. hostile government to get elected will do anything to win so i guess uh nazis are okay clan members are okay if they support you i guess uh, and here we are at child molesters. I mean, it's I love your tweet. You said at this point, losing elections coast to coast was like the fourth worst thing to happen to the GOP this week. Um, that's that's a bad week, even for them. I think anything yeah. to win was uh, just what uh, Jesus would do. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I believe that was one of the main things he said. Um, right. I mean, but that's a good point. I mean, completely overlost was, um, you know, this anti-Trump wave that showed up coast to coast. Uh, uh, for these elections. I mean, yes, a lot of them were sort of, um, you know, they weren't high-profile Senate races across the country, uh, but Virginia, uh, you know, they um, Democrats were sweating it, maybe up by two, up by three, you know, this, this kind of Trump racist, anti-immigrant Confederate heroes campaign is going to work. They lost by nine points. They lost yeah. by nine points. Yeah, in Virginia. Yeah, but you. Uh, so you, that, you know that that is now Virginia is now as blue as New Jersey. I mean, yeah. it's, it's off the table. Um. By the way, uh, you tweeted on Friday. Five major entertainment companies severed ties with Louis C.K. on Friday. Republican donors showered Roy Moore with extra contributions. He and he's literally fundraising on this. Right. That that goes back to our original. I mean, you had a very good point. Like once once you embrace Nazis. Like, once you embrace Russia interference, once you cheer when, when Trump uh, stands alongside the murderous dictator in the Philippines, there's really no I, – I, I, you, you make a good point. There is no – these aren't close calls. Yeah. Just defend everything. Yeah. Right? So, yeah, so of course you're going to send out uh, an email uh, look, trolling for cash because you've been accused of pedophilia by four women in an article yeah. that had 30 sources. Where everything is on the record. I mean, uh, every week we ask, is there, is, there, is there a bottom? Are we there yet? And you're just yeah, like, I, no, okay, right. on foreign soil, <laughs> saying he right. believes Putin over the U.S. intelligence agencies on Veterans Day. And then <laughs> two right. days later, he's yucking it up with Duterte, refusing to take questions and mocking our press with Duterte. I mean, you can't. You can't write this stuff, right? You, you can. And then that's one of the points I made yesterday on Joy's show, which is, you know, Fox reflects the Republican Party. And if you go back over the decades, um, you know, if, if the Republican Party wanted to wanted you to believe there was a jihadist behind every door, that's what Fox News did ar around the clock. Yeah. Fox, if, if Republican Party, Trump's Republican Party, is now just kind of this heartless, soulless enterprise. And that's what Fox News will do. So anyone looking for that bottom, and I know it's, it's, it's logical right. because, you know, we watch the media and we think that people have souls and people right. have a, a shred of decency. Yeah. But there is no bottom. This is a well. well I mean, this is a bottomless well. Uh, and, and, and as I also noted, you know, and much he, like Breitbart, which is now sending reporters down to, like, the try to debunk the Washington Post and Fox right. News. I mean, these are super PACs. That, that's all they are, period. Yeah. They're vicious, vicious super PACs. Yeah, well, exactly. But, I, you know, I at this point, too, we're, we're so round the bend that he is literally lying about things 
that we literally have on tape from a few hours ago when he yeah, said, yeah, yeah. oh, I said that Putin believes it. I didn't say that I believe him. He, You absolutely said you believe Putin on tape, right? right? I mean, it's, uh, I don't. And then this latest thing, he said, uh, uh, oh, I don't, I don't watch much television uh, I mean, because, believe it or not, I'm mostly uh, reading documents. Documents. <laughs> you original just... source documents. And, and, and as I read it, I'm sorry, back, the back of cereal boxes don't count as documents. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, but, but the larger thing is, you know, this, uh, it, it is Putin, and it's called uh, what Putin has done for a decade along with whataboutism, which is how he deflects everything, yeah. is, the, is the fog of unknowability. And you create that through, uh, you know, he creates it through RT, he creates it, I mean, he literally runs media entities. Uh, Trump doesn't own Fox News, but he essentially runs it and Breitbart and these other places. And so they collude, and, and it's all about creating this fog of unknowability. So yeah. as your point, you know, he says something on tape, then two hours later, he says, I didn't say, you know, so yeah. it's, it's a very dangerous path. And obviously, we're, we're, we're barreling down it. But again, Tuesday was help, hopeful, right? Yeah. You know, if we could have elections every week, it would be great, because that was an absolute anti-Trump message that, that voters were sending. Excuse me. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, yeah. But, but, Okay, I'm fine. Um, Eric, <laughs> <laughs> you also wrote a piece about, I mean, this ridiculous, you know, ploy they try to run every time on tax cuts, like that is not for the wealthy. And right, right. I mean, you know, you said White House economic advisor Gary Cohn conceded the whole tax scheme is, is uh, this discredit. It's trickle down again. Here we go again. Right. But right. Um, it was telling Lindsey Graham asked what the political fallout would be if they fail to deliver tax bill. He said, well, the party fractures. Most incumbents in 2018 will get a severe primary challenge. A lot of them will probably lose. The base will fracture. The financial contributions will stop. And other than that, we'll be fine. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that. I, no, no, yeah. No, right? no, it's the last. No, it's the last part. You yeah. Know, what the, you know, the definition of a D.C. gap is when you actually don't accidentally tell the truth. Right. He, he was asked, what's the downside if this doesn't pass? If this tax reform doesn't pass oh gop's financial contributions will dry up this was this was days after uh you know trump supporter representative collins chris collins said the same thing he said my donors you're getting mad you know we've got to pass this tax bill for our donors right uh so yeah i mean look you know the, the tax code hasn't been re- hasn't been rewritten in 40 years the idea that these people who can't even you know get a post office naming bill through congress i'm i'm optimistically pessimistic that they're going to be able to do anything but to watch them try to sell it as you know when reagan tried to sell you know did uh, tax reform 40 years ago there was a modicum of truth in there right this thing is just just there's nothing yeah and, and you it's see just mi- like the health it's like the health care debate in air quotes yeah. They're not telling the truth about anything. None of it. None of it. It's amazing. Yeah. Did you see Mitch McConnell said he uh, misspoke? Yes. When he said no middle class uh, families will get a, uh, you know, uh, an inc- a tax increase. Yeah. And, and so someone like Mitch McConnell, who's been in the Senate a long time, and he kind of knows the rules, like, okay, this, we, we kind of talk about half one side of our mouth, then we talk out the other side of our mouth, and we kind of do this dopey dance. Right. He doesn't know what to do because the Trump team is just like we're just going to lie about everything. Like there's no dance here. Right. <laughs> we're not going. We're not even going to pause. Everyone who goes out of the White House, whether it's Cohen or Mention or, or Ivanka or Donald, they just lie about everything. And for some people who's been in D.C. for a long time, they're still not quite sure. Like, okay, I'm just going to. Okay, here we go. We're just going to lie about the most important tax bill in 40 yeah. years. It's alternative and, facts. Yeah, it's exactly. alternative exactly. math is what exactly. it is. Exactly. 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 Yeah. All right. Well, uh, best of luck to us. Uh, <laughs> this was uh, this news cycle was I, I seriously right. I, I, don't you say this every Monday, Eric? We it, do. Right. That this. It's, it's, yeah. It's crazy. Good luck. All right. What, what else can we say? Yep. Good luck to you too, sir. See you next week. There you go. <laughs> <laughs>